Recently, electric vehicles have been considered as promising and almost the only type of vehicle that will replace gasoline cars in the foreseeable future. Electric cars are really taking over the markets very quickly. For instance, in Europe alone, the share of such cars has tripled over the year, from 3.3% in 2019 to more than 10% in 2020. According to experts from Deloitte, by 2030, every fourth car purchased will run on electric traction. Sounds impressive, but this is also a cause for concern. According to the latest research, one in five electric vehicle owners in the United States exchange their eco-friendly cars for gasoline-powered vehicles. This trend is most common in the state of California, which is the leader in the U.S. in the adoption of electric vehicles. What's going on? Does the sunny American state lack charging stations? The problem is not lack, rather the abundance of it. So many companies are involved in the distribution of electricity that motorists have to experience the inconvenience of such competition. Different tariffs, various mobile apps, different charging connectors, and different charging speeds depending on the type of station. All this makes choosing a gas station a real quest, which sooner or later starts to cause irritation. Not every driver has the time and desire to understand the nuances, buy adapters for charging, be tied to a mobile application. After all, the phone can be discharged along with the car. The question frequently asked would be, what is the problem in charging a car in your own garage or in the parking lot near your home or office? Well, firstly, electric cars are mostly abandoned by those who don't have their own garage. In addition, standard home outlets in the States provide only 120 volts, and this is absolutely not enough to charge a car in a couple of hours. With this voltage, it may take at least a day to fully charge a 60 kilowatt hour battery, and this capacity is available on almost all electric vehicles. According to statistics, 70% of those who switched back to gasoline experienced problems with the speed of charging at home. Secondly, even in such an advanced state as California, public charging stations are not installed everywhere. You would be lucky to have a fast charging station of a suitable type near your home or work, providing up to 80% of the charge in 30 to 40 minutes. Slow charging stations giving a voltage of 120 or 240 volts are easier to find so far. By the way, Tesla, which is at the forefront of electric vehicles, has solved this problem quite successfully. The company's engineers have developed Tesla Supercharger Fast Charging Stations that charge even the largest Tesla Model S battery 90 kilowatt hours in just 40 minutes. Nevertheless, the battery is also killed by such an express charge at a fairly high speed. There is one more nuance. It should be noted that there are many such stations in American as well as Western European cities. But in Moscow, for instance, there is only one station. And on the highways between cities, Tesla superchargers are even less common, which significantly reduces the likelihood of using electric vehicles for long trips. To bring it into perspective, filling a full tank of Toyota Corolla with gasoline, which is enough for 700 kilometers of driving on the highway, takes only three minutes, and you can refuel at literally every corner. To charge a Tesla for 350 kilometers, you will have to find a Tesla supercharger and spend about an hour charging. In the age of super speeds, this is prohibitively long. And some more statistics. It was published by the Institute for Transportation Research at the University of California, based on a survey of 14,000 electric vehicle owners in the United States. Those who decided to switch from electric vehicles to gasoline lived in small families, so they had fewer cars per family. In other words, they did not have the opportunity to get behind the wheel of a gasoline car for an unscheduled trip, for example, out of town when necessary. Instead, they had to depend on an outlet. Further, they were younger, had a lower income, predominantly rented housing with only a few living in their own home. That is, they were actually deprived of the opportunity to charge an electric car from their outlet. The study also found that Tesla owners were less likely to switch back to gas than owners of other electric vehicles, such as the Fiat 500e. 
This is not surprising when you consider that Tesla still invests a lot of money in ultra-fast charging stations, and people with higher incomes can afford such an electric car, for whom Tesla is not the only car in the family. What do we get? It cannot be denied that the future lies with green, zero-emission vehicles, in particular electric vehicles, and we are moving pretty quickly in this direction. But we cannot ignore the fact that we are still at the beginning of the journey on issues such as charging times and the availability of fast charging stations. But don't forget that only 10 years ago, modern internet speeds seemed fantastic to us.